Welcome to episode four, week three of my London Marathon Training All In YouTube series. Just finished my 10 mile run, it's 20 past nine. I've left it really late again. Kelly said, you're not having dinner unless you get out on your run. So I'm starving hungry, but my run is done and I'm on track and it's a good start to the week. So it's Tuesday and I've had a bit of a disaster. Uh, I went to post something at the post office, then headed to the gym and got to the gym and realised I'd lost my wallet. Uh, phoned the post office, they didn't have it. So I was a bit stressed, but it was a lesson in overcoming barriers. There's always going to be barriers. So anyway, I tried to shut that out of my head, got my five miles down on the treadmill and finally got some strength work done. Um, I'll flash up now what I got done. I had to rush though because... I spent about 40 minutes looking in my car thinking it must be here. My wallet must be here. Well, it wasn't, but I got it done. And then um, I headed back to see this guy and we headed back to the post office and it had been handed in. So I've got my wallet. Thank you to the good soul who handed my wallet in. I haven't got lots of money to steal. It's just a pain getting new cards and stuff, isn't it? An ID. Um, so I've done my five mile run. Today I'm breaking my running into two, a little less impact, but I'm doing them a little bit faster to get that higher end aerobic uh, benefit. Uh, so yeah, five miles done, gym session done, found my wallet, and I'll go out and do five miles later this evening. Look how content he is. So one second, I'm minding my own business and having cut it with little Harry. The next, the doorbell's gone, and look what arrived. Oh, yes. New trainer day. These are the New Balance Propel. And they were an absolute bargain. So they were recommended by Colin McCourt, who if you don't know, you should go follow him. He's got a great channel. I'll link below. He's an ex-professional athlete and an absolute inspiration and a great guy. But anyway, enough of Colin. Um, he said these trainers are amazing. So I thought I'd give them a go. And then I saw them on the New Balance website for 50 pounds, 50 quid. And these are meant to be incredible trainers. So anyway, I'm gonna take them out for a spin later because I can't wait. And I will give you my thoughts probably straight away. I'll probably just give you some first impressions, um, but maybe a full review down the line. But anyway, what, turned, what started as a wallet disaster day has turned into a new trainer day. And that's always a good day. He agrees. When you see someone put a post on Instagram or Twitter or whatever, and they've run really well in a race and got a PB, what you don't see is the evenings when they're warm and tired and hungry, but they've got to go out on a run, and they're not really feeling it, they don't fancy going on a run, but they get out there anyway. So that's the guy I'm going to be in this block. I'm going to be the guy that gets out on the runs even the runs that he doesn't really feel like. I know I'll feel great afterwards. So I'm going to get it banked, get these five miles done. And London Marathon, I'm coming for you. Nine point eight miles done. And now I'm in a well lit car park, ready to do some strides. Like I said last week, I want to work on my neuromuscular coordination. So I'm adding strides into a few of the runs. Um, Normally I do them after a bit of a shorter run, but uh, what will be will be 10 miles done-ish. Oh, this will top it up to 10 miles now. Anyway, enough faffing, time to run fast and smooth. Absolutely horrendous. So the weather has been savage lately. Uh, windy, rainy, it's a storm with a name, Brendan, Bradley, I don't know who it is. But basically, I've done all my runs this week in the dark, in the rain. So I decided to hit the gym, go on the treadmill and do my session. So I changed the session a bit but since I was being, since I was being, since I was running on the treadmill. And I really enjoyed it actually. I did 10 times three minutes with one minute very slow jog in between. So it's really short recoveries. And I did the three minutes progressing from 18, 18 and a half, 19, 19 and a half, 20 kilometers an hour and then repeated that from 18 up to 20 kilometers an hour. Uh, so 18 kilometers an hour is like five 
22 minutes per mile and then 20 is 450 minutes per mile. I know the treadmill is different to running outdoors. I've seen that throughout my training blocks in the past, but it is a great confidence boost seeing as it's my first really faster work of this marathon block. Uh, so yeah, I was really happy. I had this little motto in my head um, because I felt like 19 kilometers an hour, that was me done, it was too fast. But I had this motto saying, you don't know what's gonna happen the next rep. You don't know until you've tried. So what's the point in not doing it? You may as well start it and see what happens. Uh, I do this in a race as well. It's like, you know what it feels like to back off. It gets easier. What happens if you push on or you hold on and you don't back off? I love that idea of seeing what happens. You only live once. Just give it a crack. Hold on. Dig in. And yeah, so that last 20 kilometer hour, three minute rep. That's all I was thinking was just see if you can do it. You don't know. Maybe you can't, but just give it a crack. And I held on and I probably could have done more, but that's a good feeling to have. It's a feeling that you held back a little bit in the session, even though it didn't feel like that. I think there was another few reps in me if I needed them. So very, very positive, exciting. I've got a long run to do. And obviously the race on Sunday, predictions are coming in. I announced the winner at the end of this video. Another 10 miles banked and it's sunny and dry. Yay. Um, I've messed up a bit this week. I don't know when I'm going to fit my long run in. I've, uh, it was meant to be today, but my legs definitely weren't having that after yesterday's session. So, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. But I'm feeling a lot fitter already, actually. I was uh, cruising along. I wasn't going quick then, but my heart rate was low and it felt really, really comfortable, which is a really good sign. The only thing to show a little bit concerned about is my left hamstring feels a bit tight. Uh, yeah, I thought I'd just say that now because it does to document it for myself, really. So that's something I need to pay attention to, do a bit of stretching. And also, I really need a massage. Kelly is a sports therapist, so I'll try and convince her to give me one tonight um, because I haven't had one in ages and my legs are crying out for it. So that's nine miles done. I've got the race tomorrow, which I'm really excited for actually. That run was pretty smooth. I'm looking forward to looking at the data and seeing what the beats per mile were. Um, I've got the 4% on, so that'll definitely have helped. But I don't know, I feel like I'm getting fitter every day now, which is great. Um, I suppose yesterday I was doing a recovery run, so my legs feel a bit fresher today. So I pushed the pace a little and uh, I'm looking forward to looking at the data. Now I'm in the park, going to do some strides, try and get some pop into my legs, ready for race day. Okay, okay, a little too dramatic, but you get the point. I'd like to discuss what strides are and why I use them. So running isn't just about fitness and strength, it's also a talent, something you have to practice to get better at. Strides help your neuromuscular coordination, but what does that mean? Well, basically your brain sends messages to your muscles to move. It sends them along pathways. These pathways become more developed and more efficient the more you practice something. So by running strides fast, not all out, just focusing on running fast with good form, you're teaching your body to run at those speeds more smoothly. Think of trying to brush your teeth with the wrong hand. So I'm right-handed. When I try and brush my teeth with my left hand, I'm all over the place. I've got no rhythm. It just doesn't work. The reason is not because my left arm is really weak. It's because the brain sending the signals to that arm just doesn't know those movements very well. The pathways aren't developed. Think of turning trails into motorways. And that's what strides are for. You run fast, you become more smooth at running at those faster paces. It's something you have to practice. 
A bit like playing the piano or tennis, it's a talent that you need to improve. So add them into your week, um, as much or as little as you want. They don't take much out of you. So at the end of an easy run, throw in some strides and I promise you, you'll learn to run faster and smoother for your fitness. Good morning, it's Sunday, it's race day. It's beautiful out there. Um, it's a midday race time, which is a bit strange. I'm used to getting it done early. Uh, I thought I'd talk about my plans for today, my race strategy. Um, I think I'm in about 33 shape, perhaps. Um, but what's the point in just going and running into the shape I'm in? I want to test myself physically and mentally. So I'm going to go out at like 32 or even PB shape and just see what I've got. Uh, I'm not very nervous today because I'm not expecting too much. It's first race of the year. Um, so I'm going to go out hard and uh, roll the dice. Looking forward to it. Um, Kelly and Harry will be coming along to support. It's his first race supporting where he's not inside <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm excited. And yeah, it's going to be an amazing race, an amazing field there. I kind of wish I was there just to watch the race because there's so many good runners. But I'll mix it up with some of the boys and uh, see what I can do. Left Matt warming up, so Harry and I are off to our cheering spot. This race makes me want to um, get back to running even more. It's just fast. Take my keys, please. <laughs> So uh, race done, um, 3201 provisionally, which I'm really happy with, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, I'm still, what, six pounds over my normal weight and 10 pounds over race weight. So to run close to my PB was a bit of a shock, but it's just such a fast field, fast course, a bunch of boys running under 30. So I think that just drives you along plan was run 7k at about 32 pace and then try and go hunting and try and take some boys in the last couple of miles which I did uh, dragged a few boys in went past a few worked with some at the end little sprint finish and just missed out on the sub 32 but not too bothered by that uh, I thought I was on for it because my average pace of my watch was well under, but um, my watch was showing long, so never mind. 
So some really good news. The 3201 was provisional and then the chip times came in and it was 3157 sub 32. Really happy. Was not expecting that. Um, it shows that I'm actually in much better shape than I thought and it's a really good place to be in this early in my marathon block. Uh, that means we've got a competition winner and the competition winner is Laura who got it spot on with 3157. I actually coached Laura, so it looks a bit dodgy, but she guessed it right, and congratulations. I will get the Science and Sport bundle to you in the post, which I know is going to be great for your training. So yeah, I closed with a three minute last K, which is outrageous. And maybe I had a little bit more in me, but I just wasn't, wasn't expecting to run that far. So really happy with the result. Uh, the week overall, I didn't get a long run done, which is really frustrating because it is marathon training. So I do need to address that and make sure I get my long run done this week. Um, so I did 70 miles, pretty happy with that. Wanted it to be 80, but I'm fitter than I expected. So there's lots of pluses to take. Strength wise, I did one gym session. I promised to only did one. So I got to get on top of that. Try and do two gym sessions this week. Try and get the 80 miles in, get the long run done. Um, Really happy with how the strides have started to help me already and I'll keep those in my plan and maybe, like I said last time, maybe introduce a turbo session on the bike as well. But overall, a really promising good week and something to build on. So like, subscribe, all of that. Um, leave comments on anything you want to see. I've, some people have said they want to see some strength work. Some people have seen one to... Uh, some people have said they want to see warm up and drills. Whatever you want to see, leave it in the comments. I love feedback. Share it. And thanks for tuning in to All In. See you next week.